All right, guys, here we go. Let me see, any more flowers on here? No, okay, these are violets. They're wild violets. And I'm sure you've got them in your lawn. If you look around your, your lawn area, you'll see these little purple violets. Since I have no more violets, because I picked them all, I will try and put some pictures up for you. But these leaves, not only are the violets edible, let me see, do I have any here? Ah, here is a violet. It's a small one that's pretty much gone, but you could actually pick these and eat them. They're very, very good for you. But the leaves, believe it or not, you could actually pick these and you can put them in salads or you could actually cook them like spinach. And if you pick the stems of these flowers, of these leaves, they'll just keep making new shoots as the summer goes. And it keeps making also some flowers. Here's another flower that was plucked. My granddaughters were here the other day and they plucked everything out. Here's another flower that's pretty much done. But just to say, these are edible wild greens. So if you ever see them, try taking some and putting them in salads or just pop them in your mouth. Really, really good for you. High in vitamin C and some other vitamins which I'll list for you, but really, really good for you. So there you go, guys. Another edible plant that you can harvest that is free for you to pick. And marigold is another flower that you could actually uh, pluck and put into salads and there's so many other things you can make I'll list them for you but these are very medicinal very good for the skin you can actually make creams with marigolds and uh, facial creams which is really good for your skin but you can make teas there's so many things you could do with marigolds guys so do plant some in your garden okay these here are called plantain. Believe it or not, these are very medicinal. When they're young, you could actually cut the leaves off and throw them in salads. Oh, don't mind the honking guys. They're protesting up the street. Anyhow, these are edible, but these are also medicinal. If you ever cut yourself and you pull one of these leaves out and you crush them, just chew them up in your mouth and wherever you have a cut, you put that that pull uh, the uh, the crushed leaves on, and your wound is going to heal no time at all. So there you go. That's another thing that is very much edible, along with the chicory, and very medicinal. Don't forget, this is good for your skin. You could actually blend some up in a blender, and then make a little mask for your face. Really, really good for you. And here's the leaf of another, Afri uh, another violet. So there are a lot of things that are healthy for you. People call them wheat and we call them beneficial greens. More plantain. There's two different types of plantain. This one's got a wider leaf and there's one that's got a very long narrow leaf. See what this is? I plant beets in a pot, and then when you want to make a salad, all you have to do is cut some of these greens, and they could go into a salad, or these are already cut as you can tell. But if you wait till they get nice and tall, you could actually cut them, and you can make a nice little stir fry. So you could get some beautiful beet greens just by adding a couple of beets in some soil. I've got one growing there, I've got three in this one, and in the garden I've got more growing. It's just a fast, easy way to get some greens into your diet. I see the birds ate that one. But that's an easy way to even grow this indoors. How interesting are these? 
I'm not sure what kind they are, but they might be, what are they called, Erica? Dead man's fingers? Mm -hmm. How cool is this mushroom? Not that long. Okay, guys, yeah. look what we found today. Ta-da! Oh my God, what is that? Look, look what we got. Oh it's my. chicken of the wood. There's for sure more. I am so excited. Guys, I'm going to make a dish with this stuff and I am going to blow you guys away. I am here. Oh, Erica, do you want to hold this? I'm so excited. How long have we been waiting to try oh this? Oh my God, we've been waiting a long time. Okay, so let's start up here. Oh, look oh how God. beautiful. Look, and there's going to be more growing. Oh, my God. oh, look at this. Can you give me the bag? Oh. And we have some other mushrooms that we picked up. We picked up more dryads. But this is what I'm excited about, guys. Look at this. Hey, I'm excited. Ma, you have no idea how excited I am right now. <laughs> Look how beautiful. I know. Oh, God. Look at this. I am taking it. See if there's any on the other tree. Oh Lord, how do I do this without breaking it? Oh, this is so soft. This is so fresh. I know, there's for sure more in this forest, for sure. I'm trying to get it without. You spotted this from all the way over there. <laughs> I did, I saw something orange. I've been looking for orange. That's all I've been doing is looking for orange. Oh, it fell. A piece fell? Mm -hmm. We're not going to waste that. Oh, Lord. Look at this. They're so fresh, too. Look at this. Oh, my God. I don't want to be too greedy. Oh, Lord. My favorite spot, guys. Swampland. Ta-da! I love it. I love it, I love it. We're looking for more mushrooms. And then I'm gonna cook up that chicken of the woods for you. First time tasting it, guys. I'll let you know what it's like. I'm also looking, oh, here's that other plantain I was telling you, with the longer leaf. That is fantastic. If you cut yourself or you have a mosquito bite or whatever, Chew this up and just stick it on your wound or wrap your finger with it and it's going to heal without a scar, guys. I know it's a dead tree. Oh, look at this. How beautiful is the stump of this tree. And it's so big, too. Look how huge it is. I love nature. This is beautiful like a carving it's like a masterpiece and I bet some animal is living in there the mosquitoes want to gouge my eyes we're looking in our heads now we are picturing yellow yellow and orange that's all we want to see now is yellow and orange okay let's go back <laughs> okay which way are we going this way <laughs> Okay guys, if I find something, I'll let you know. Okay guys, this is my chicken of the woods. I'm excited and uh, hopefully tomorrow I'll show you how I'm gonna cook these. Uh, it's gonna be the first time we taste them. So I am super excited and so is my daughter. So there you go. We did pick a giant morel, I'll show you. Here it is. Now there's my hand and that's there's my hand right there, and that is the size of this. Unfortunately, it was breaking on our way home, and we managed to pick up a stump that's still in good condition that we're going to cook up tonight. But yeah, very, very exciting. We had a good pick. Plus, we also picked some more dryads, which are really nice and tender. So those, you know how to make those, a little bit of steak spice and a little bit of olive oil, and that's how you cook the dryads. But these are what I'm excited about. And I can't wait to find more. Hello, hello, hello. 
I am excited to show you something, guys. Okay, first rule of thumb is if you're picking wild mushrooms, do not come home, especially if you're not cooking them the same day, do not come home and put them in a plastic bag. The best bet is to wrap them with some paper, and that's what I did. And I'm going to show you. Obviously, before you see this part of the video, you're going to see how excited I was when I did find my what? My chicken of the woods. And here they are. A little more shriveled up than the moment I picked them up. But they're going to be just as good. First time for us to try this. What I'm going to do now is give them a quick wash. Just to remove whatever debris is there. Because uh, they were pretty much clean. But I just want to give them a good little wash. I'm smelling them now. They smell fantastic. Now, if you guys have or are interested in going to pick chicken uh, pick mushrooms in the wild these are one mushrooms you this is one mushroom you will not get wrong you can't miss this one it's completely yellow on the knee it's a polypore that means it doesn't have any gills it has all these tiny little holes and they're bright orange on the top and yellow underneath and they grow on dead stumps of trees that you find on the floor uh, usually they'll be like oak trees or beech trees um, or sometimes you'll find them standing up on trees but you can't go wrong do a little research on chicken of the wood not hen of the woods because those are more like maitakis they grow more down at the base of trees uh, these ones will grow on dead wood or decaying wood and like I said bright yellow on the neat and orange on top so when you see something like this you're gonna know what that is some are almost like white or cream and pink underneath also chicken of the wood but let me tell you something I am so excited this is the first time well it's not the first time we spot it usually we spot them where somebody already took them and all we see is that flat stump against the tree but it's the first time we actually found the mushroom. They were a little bigger when we got them because it had just rained. They were a little wet. They were really, these are really fresh. They're soft. If you find that you do find them and they're very hard, just check and see how the texture is on the outside. You might want to just trim out the outside and bring that part home and leave the rest on the tree. But do a little research and remember if you're still not sure what you're picking, do not bring home to eat. You have to know what you're picking. So you got to do your homework if you're going to be picking any type of wild mushrooms. So I'm just going to quickly give these a little wash. And I'm going to cook these up. And we're going to tell you exactly what they taste like. Apparently, they feel like chicken under your teeth. And they feel, and they taste like chicken. Uh, someone says it doesn't taste like chicken. Some people say it does taste like chicken. So we're going to let you know what it tastes like. The feel is supposed to feel just like chicken. Just me touching them has got that texture of chicken meat, raw chicken meat. So, so far that part is right. So, I'm excited. There's many ways you can cook these up. My daughter wants them pretty simple. She doesn't want anything fancy because you could actually uh, take chunks like this and batter them and then deep fry them just like you would a piece of chicken. And then put them in between um, a sandwich. If I find more in the woods, let me tell you, I'm going to make that recipe for you. But for now, I'm just going to give it a fast wash. And I'm going to fry these up with a little bit of olive oil, salt, pepper, maybe a little steak spice. We'll see. Um, and we'll let you know what it tastes like. So hang in there, guys. I'll be right back. I'm losing my... Kind chicken. This is kind chicken, guys. These are pretty clean, so there's not much to clean off of them. But I shall return, guys. Okay, so these are pretty washed. Those are just where... Aren't they beautiful? Look at the color. Now, normally, if you see something bright, you would think, Oh my God, this is Amanita, and it's going to kill us. But... Uh, those are mushrooms with gills. Look at this. This is kind of crazy because it feels like I'm cutting into some chicken pieces. Yeah, that's like crazy stuff. 
it has the same texture. Erica, can I have the ceramic uh, pan, please? I'm excited. You cannot believe how excited I am. Well, maybe if you saw the first part of this video, you would have an idea how excited I was. Now, if these been around a long time on the wood, you're going to see that, like I said, the base part, the part that's attached to the wood is going to be very, uh, very tough. So you're probably not going to want to eat that. And it was funny because when I first spotted, I spotted something from afar and my eyesight isn't the best eyesight ever. And I thought it was a Dryad. I said, Erica, I says, look, I see something kind of yellow with the sun peeping through. I says, maybe it's a Dryad. And as we're walking towards it, my daughter starts to get excited. <laughs> she goes, oh, my God, Mom, <laughs> it's Chicken of the Woods. So anyhow, like I said, if you find the mushroom is too tough, you could always make teas with it because it is a medicinal mushroom. Uh, or you can... Um, dry them up and use them in broths or if you don't want to dry them up just freeze it and if you're making a broth you can simply uh, throw a chunk of mushroom in and that's what I do with my dryads if my dryads are too tough to be eaten because they do kind of petrify petrify is that the word there we go so they do get hard and then they're not edible when they're too big that's the dryad same thing goes with this one. If, it's that, if that's the case, I say don't leave it there. Bring it home anyhow and make some delicious broth. Okay, so let me just put my pan over here so you can see. Okay, she doesn't want anything in it. Look how big they are. And do your homework, guys. These are supposed to be fantastic. So if you take a walk in the woods and you spot some of these mushrooms like the Dryad, you can't miss that. They call that the pheasant back. It looks like it has feathers. I would advise that you uh, do a little homework and then try some of these mushrooms out. Free food. Nature puts it out there for us. Thanks to the garden, we have some beautiful fresh herbs. salt, a little bit of pepper. I wanted to jazz it up a little, but my daughter wants to taste the mushroom, so we're going to leave it pretty simple. I'm going to tell you what it smells like as we cook it. Can I have a... So the texture is supposed to be like chicken. And the taste is supposed to be like chicken. Some say lemony. Some say a little lemony. Yeah. And some say like chicken. So we're going to let you know exactly what it tastes like. Chicken of the woods. I'm excited. The next thing that, well, we're going to get this. Now is the time to get this. This until fall. So if you spot something bright yellow on a tree, we're not talking on the floor because there's the jack-o'-lantern. They're also very orange, but they also glow in the uh, glow in the dark, and they're pretty much not good for you. Poisonous mushrooms, so those you don't want. But chicken of the woods. I'm gonna put a picture for you guys. If you come across that, these are guaranteed you're able to eat. Dryads. I'm gonna put a picture again for you guys. If you spot those, those are guaranteed. You have to do your homework. I'm not going to tell you go out and pick out, go pick mushrooms, and then you're going to get sick. No, do your homework. And if you can find a place to take a class, that's even better. Go out and take a class and learn what you're picking. Okay, a little extra pepper. No steak spice for you? No. You just want to taste the mushroom, right? Yeah. But yeah, nature gives us free food. And if you see any of the dandelion, pick that. That's so good for you, especially the flower. The flower is so medicinal and so healthy for you. It gives you energy. When I go for hikes, or when my daughter and I go for hikes, 
uh, if we see a dandelion flower, we just pop it in our mouth. Gives us that little extra boost to keep going. Pack it up a little. Very odd. Very delicious though. Maybe if I'm lucky I'm going to find a tree that's filled from head to toe. And you can also, if you find a lot of mushrooms, when you recognize your mushrooms, and if you find a lot of mushrooms, you know what, you can set yourself, oh, you can set yourself up and uh, freeze some for the winter. Especially like where we live, our summers are so short that, you know, if we have them in the freezer, it's like, ah, oh, so nice. But do your homework and go out there and discover what's out there for you to eat. Like, what does this cost, Erica, if you want to buy the chicken of the woods? Number one, you won't find this in any grocery store. The only time you're going to find this type of mushroom is if you, um, if you buy it from a forager. $18 on sale. Regular size, $28 a pound. $28 a pound. There you go, guys. It looks like a crab or lobster, right? Yeah. Wow, very good guys, if you find this, definitely take them up. Man, I want to find a tree full of those. I do too. How beautiful, look at the color of these mushrooms. Mm, the oh wow. I think these are the best Mushroom? mushrooms Better that we've morale? had. Oh my god. I don't know. Morel's on top there. These are good. Wow, like guys. Them. This is amazing. Yeah. Don't scratch my pan. It's soft. Grab the big one. Very good, though. Oh my god. They're very, very good, guys. So there you go, chicken of the woods, guys. And all I did was a little bit of garlic, a little bit of olive oil, some salt, some pepper, and it is delicious. I'm gonna take another one. There you go. You get a chance, and you go mushroom hunting, and you don't wanna eat them, send them to me. Mm. Very good, very good. Hope you like this video, guys. And if I find any new mushrooms that I wanna share with you, I promise you I will. The next batch that I find, you see, I'm already telling myself I'm going to find a new batch. The next batch I'm going to find, I'm going to cut it in um, larger pieces and I'm going to batter it and then I'm going to deep fry it and we're going to make um, chicken burgers. Chicken of the wood burgers. Chicken of the woods. We're going to make the burgers. So, so there you go, guys. I'll see you in my next video. How beautiful is that, guys? My daughter is going to love her dish. Just because you're picking mushrooms from the wild and not from the store doesn't mean that you can't make your plate as beautiful as the place you found it. This, to me, means nature, and that's what I did. I added some edible flowers. I've got some beautiful marigolds, a little bit of thyme, and there's our beautiful chicken of the woods. And like I said, that's the only chicken I'll be eating, that's for sure. Okay, guys, we dug in, but I want to show you something. That is crazy. Do you see that? It's fibrous, like it's chicken like meat. It's like chicken meat. That and guess crazy. what? It tastes like chicken. Yeah. This is the closest to... Wow. Look at that. I just want to show you. 
This is like eating. My daughter says that this is I now like it more, than more the <laughs> her her favorite more than morels, and that tells you enough because wow. she is a morel nut. These are very good. <laughs> That's insane. It doesn't. Well, it has a little bit of chicken taste. Yeah, but not like a nasty chicken. You know, like animal meat does not is not. Appetizing. Yeah, it has a little bit of that chicken taste, but. You know, it's still a mushroom, but the texture, oh my God, it's like crazy. It's you would think you're eating. Wow. Oh my God, I'm gonna have a piece of this and some flowers. This here is, oh. mm. yeah, this here, you see it's firmer? Oh my God. Imagine this fry next time. I know. Okay, we're finding more. <laughs> we better. We should have gone today. Well, I have to. Work. Okay, guys, I love you. Thank you for dropping by. I'm sorry I made a mess of my plate, but I am so happy. But flowers and mushroom. Mm. But when I find the next batch, I'm gonna make even a nicer dish for you. If you find these, I'm gonna put pictures for you. I'm gonna put links for you. You have to. There's a link of a guy I follow. His name is Adam. He is the sweetest ever. But if you want to learn something about nature, you got to go see him. Mm. I'm going to put his YouTube channel there. And he's going to teach you about mushrooms like you've never learned about mushrooms. So, there you go. Thank you. And guess what, guys? I'll see you in my next video. I feel so guilty eating this. Why do I feel guilty eating this? This is very good. This tastes like this chicken. This is my favorite one. How long did these last? I swore all summer. Okay, we better find them. <laughs> For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to Connie's Rawsome Kitchen. Give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.